Hi, welcome to Nona's Here. I'm Nona, and today I am making crafts that match the theme Harvest. So let's go over to my craft table, and I'll show you what I've been working on. This is DIY number one. I got all the supplies at Dollar Tree, and the first thing is this little wire basket that I picked up. I also have several gourds or pumpkins in different fall colors, and some of them even have flowers attached to the top. There's a green one, an orange one, a red one, just different fall colors that I was able to find. I also have some fall leaves left over in my stash, and I found this beautiful ribbon in all those colors. I also picked up a pack of 12 pieces of these little colored acorns. They're glass, and they kind of look like candy. Then I have this beaded wreath with a little green felt leaf on it and a couple pumpkins that were left over in my stash. So the first thing I did was I took that pretty ribbon and I wove it through the bottom of my wire basket and I glued it using fabric adhesive and I clipped it together, together there to hold it with two clips. Now I'm simply going to put those different pieces of fruit that I found and just arrange them inside the basket and then I tied the beaded wreath with the gold, uh, green felt leaf on it and stuck the leaves and those little candy acorns in throughout. Now nothing is glued down. I just arranged them till it was pleasing to my eye. I still have the clips on the ribbon there holding it together. And that's what it looks like. I'm showing you all around. See the little candy glass acorns. I thought they were so cute. And I used whatever little pieces of fall decor that I had. The little squash there. And there's the beaded wreath. I want to thank our host, Tammy from the Rusted Willow, and Ellie from DIY from House to Home, and our very special guest host, Maria from the Chic Show DIY. I'll be sure and include their channel links in the description box down below, and you'll want to check them out, and they'll have the main playlist of all the creators who are joining in today for the theme, Hello Harvest. You'll get lots of good ideas for this theme. All right, on to DIY number two. I got this little blue plastic crate at Dollar Tree, some hay bales, miniature hay bales, a bunch of pumpkins, that green styrofoam block, which you could see where there were some holes in it because I had used it for another craft, stuck the styrofoam in there, and then I tore apart one of those hay bales. They're just held together by some wire, and what a mess, let me tell you. There's more hay in that little bell than you could imagine. I had a real mess and I sort of got ahead of myself. I should not have done this part first. I should have saved this part for last and you'll see why. All right, so I put the styrofoam in the bottom and then I covered the styrofoam with the hay. Now I'm going to take those yo-yos that I showed you in the beginning but I went by kind of quickly and I took them apart. They're real easy to take apart. Well, one part, one side of the yo-yo is kind of flat, so I just hot glued it to the little plastic bin there and made a wheel. But the other part of the yo-yo has a screw through the middle, which is how the yo-yo is attached together. So now I had to make a hole in the plastic bin to stick the little screw through to make the second wheel. And by the way, there's wheels on both sides. So I used an awl, which was that tool you saw there, to make a hole in the plastic bin and then stuck the screw th of the yo-yo through it to make the second wheel. Then I had to put the wagon all back together again because I had had to dump everything out 
to make the hole through the bin. Now I'm taking picks and putting them through the pumpkins that I bought. They all had little clips on the bottom. You know I put those clips away for another time. So now I'm sticking the bottom of the pumpkins with those little picks because remember there's styrofoam underneath all that hay and I'm sticking the pumpkins into the what's supposed to be the wagon now and just arranging them how I want them to look in the wagon. So that's what I'm doing here is just arranging the pumpkins. What a mess. There was hay everywhere. All right, so now I have this little board, and I'm going to paint it with this ivory paint, just the top of it. And I'm going to make a sign to go with my wagon. And I have these cute little letters that I had in my stash. So I've taken them, and I've made Visit Our Pumpkin Patch sign. Then I had a smaller little wooden sign, and I'm going to use those same letters and make another sign, which you'll see in just a minute. Now, these letters were not self-adhesive, so I dipped the letters in white school glue to stick them on. And in the end, in the final reveal, you see how everything comes together. All right, so I made the second little sign. And you're just going to have to be in suspense of what that sign says. But I needed to do something with that first big sign that I made that said, Visit Our Pumpkin Patch. So remember that big orange sign that I quickly showed you in the beginning? Well, I'm going to take a medium-sized popsicle stick and paint it white because I'm going to glue it, hot glue it to the back of the big sign and stick it down into that big orange pumpkin to hold it up. So there, I've painted it, see? Because it's going to kind of show through the big sign, so I didn't want it to stick out. So I'm going to hot glue it so that the, the uh, ivory side is out. Glue it down, and I've already stuck it down into that big orange pumpkin to make a hole. So now I'm going to stick it down into that big orange pumpkin and the big orange pumpkin is going to be the holder for the sign. So there I go. I'm going to stick it down in there. Well, first I'm going to use some hot glue on the bottom of the popsicle stick. Then I decided it needed more hot glue, so I took the sign out and I stuck more hot glue down the hole of the pumpkin. Okay, see, it's a little wobbly. So I said, no, you need to do more than that, Nona. So I took the sign out. Just like that. And stuck more hot glue down the hole of the pumpkin. And now the sign is stable in the big pumpkin and I'll show you the end result of this entire craft in the final reveal. And there's my sign. I love those letters. Okay, on to DIY number three. Now, remember that sign I showed you for DIY number two and I, I didn't use it. I'm going to use it here. So I'm going to use that sign, and I have this little silver harvest sign that came in a pack that I had in my stash. And then I got this orange and white beaded wreath that has an orange pumpkin in the middle that says blessed. And I'm going to paint that sign, the top of the sign, with my ink chalk paint black. And it only took one coat because, you know, that black chalk paint is really thick. So I painted it all over just on the top one time. And it had a hanging string at the top, so I decided I wanted to use the hanging string, so I just broke off the stake at the bottom. It broke off really easily. So now I'm gonna attach that little orange and white wreath, and I'm just gonna take it and put it around the sign hanging loop. I'm just gonna cut the little wreath 
hanging loop and tie it real tight around the sign hanging loop. And then to make sure it's real stable, I'm going to um, hot glue it down the back of the sign to make sure it's real tight and will hang down nicely. Try not to burn my fingers with the hot glue. Now I'm seeing how I want my harvest sign to go on the round sign. And I know it's going to stick out on both sides, but I like that. And you know that's a metal, little metal sign, so you have to be real careful using the hot glue because it gets hot and you'll burn yourself. So I'm patting it down, and there it is. We'll take a better look at it at the final reveal. All right, well, those are my three crafts. Tell me which one is your favorite. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, please mash that subscribe button, the bell next to it, and the word all, so you won't miss any of the videos. And if you like my video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up like. Okay, let's take a look at the final reveal and be sure and comment down below which one is your favorite. So here's my final reveal. The first one was the gold basket with the ribbon woven around the bottom and the different pieces of fruit and those pretty little candy looking egg corns and the leaves. I took a different picture so you could see the different views. And my second craft with the little truck with the yo-yo wheels and the pumpkins and the hay bales and the signs that said visit our pumpkin patch and hay rides. And then the final craft which was the round black sign with the orange and plain colored uh, wreath, the orange pumpkin in the middle that said blessed, and the silver harvest sign. So comment down below which was your favorite. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon at Nona's Here. Bye!